Hey y'all, it's Lissa aka Bangs and Glasses and I am back with day four of 30 Days of Sketches. Um, this is the sketch that I'll be working on today by Jessica Michaels and I love this sketch. I feel like it was so easy to use just because I already have papers that really go with this sketch from Vicki Booten. So um, I went ahead and cut out my circle pieces from this piece of paper from uh, the new Vicki Booten paper pad that I got. Um, so I have adhered that to my base page and added my photos already and now I'm just ready to add my title with these stickers which I do off screen here um, and now I'm going to start embellishing my favorite part. Uh, so these photos are of uh, me and my husband dog sitting Charlie which is the title. Uh, so we got to dog sit uh, my husband's parents dog um, for like just one night uh, and it was pretty fun because uh, we don't have a dog of our own um, so he's just a really sweet boy and it was cool just to spend some time with him and have a dog for a night um, at our house so uh, that's him there he's a golden doodle and he is so cute um, so I had to take you know a great photo of him and then there's a photo of my husband um, while we were hanging out in the backyard with him. So now I'm going through the new, uh, Vicky Booten embellishments that I have, uh, just hauled recently. Um, so the paper that I have cut the circle out of, it's from Fernwood, I believe. I've used that paper before, but not in this way. Um, and the ephemera pack that I'm going through now is the one that's more, um, like the Fernwood vibe. I found these, uh, washi strips on one of the sticker sheets in the pack, and I'm going to use that to build out a cluster here at the top, just to make things a little more balanced, um, with my, uh, circle and photos. Cause I felt like there was a lot of just blank space hanging up there, um, and in the sketch, they do have a cluster um, above part of the title, but I moved mine to the other side uh, just to fill in some of that gap. So I have a ton of ephemera from this collection because I have not played around with uh, this ephemera pack yet. So right now I'm trying out this camera, but I decide that it is taking up too much space and focus. There's some beautiful florals in this pack, um, but a lot of them are too large and covering up too much of Charlie. But I definitely want to fill in kind of this gap here under the photo. Um, even though in the sketch that's left open, to me it just like looks too blank. And uh, I guess I just have a fear of white space. I don't know. Uh, so I'm trying to find some ephemera pieces to kind of fill in that space for me. So I feel like um, it's more balanced and also just a little more embellished. I start finding these house pieces, um, which I think would be good since we are at our house. Um, and it kind of reminded me of a dog house in a way. So I am playing around with where I want to put that on my page. Um, I did sort of decide that the colors I wanted to stick with for this layout is kind of the green, blue, and yellow that is already in the papers. Uh, I do find this floral piece that has some pink in it, um, which I really like uh, because it just seems to fill in that gap of space very well, even though it doesn't go along with the color scheme that I decided to stick with. Um, I still think it worked well on the page. I find that other house piece and I decided to tuck it in there behind the photo. Um, I don't mind bringing in a little bit of this pink here because there is uh, some like red and pinks in the letters that spell out Charlie and uh, my husband's giant red quick trip cup. Uh, so I feel like it's okay to bring that in. I'm still just going through a lot of these ephemera bits. There's so much in this pack. I really recommend getting one of these packs if you're a Vicky Booten fan uh, because there's just so much in here. I'm starting to think as well about how to build out this cluster that I've decided to do at the top of my page with the washi strips. Um, maybe finding some little words to add in to that part of the page. So again, just kind of going through things, seeing what works with this layout and what's in the colors that I want to bring out. Um, I do find this tab piece and I decide I want to add it in behind there, behind the photo of my husband, just to kind of um, 
help the photo stand out more against the more neutral background. Um, the background piece of paper is also from the new Vicky Booten collection that I just picked up recently as well. So we are um, now looking at the thicker pack and there's some little houses on this uh, pack as well. So I decided to add in that other uh, blue color house. So I have three houses on my page and I decided to tuck it back there behind um, the floral. And I'm kind of covering up the greenhouse a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, I just really want uh, to, um, yeah, just kind of have the houses on there as a shape. You don't need to see like the entire house to know what it is. All right, so let's see. We are um, about halfway through this layout. I chop off this uh, other half of the tab there uh, so I can use that on another layout. Uh, but I do like having the tab there. And I'm going to do my journaling just above where that tab is. Um, so that space will be kind of filled in between the top cluster and where that tab is. I do find this other word on the thicker sheet that says stay curious, which I think is kind of good for uh, describing a dog. I feel like dogs are very curious uh, and it has a little more of that pink. So I feel like having a little more of the pink on the page makes it make sense and uh, just makes it more cohesive to have it in a few more spots. All right, so let's see here. Uh, we are just gluing some stuff down now since I've made some final choices uh, just to keep everything in place. I will um, add some foam to the back of this floral piece. Um, I forget if I do that on or off camera uh, since I have the uh, chipboard piece kind of stuck behind the leaf. I want to make sure that's even and I'm deciding here if I'm going to tuck that under the floral or leave it on top and I think I leave it under the floral. Uh, just because I don't want to cover the beautiful flowers. All right, so again, we're finding some other little bits to add into my page, and I decide to bring in these yellow daisy flowers um, to embellish around my husband's photo. Um, so I tuck in one of the stems behind that photo there and have it half on top, half on bottom. Also, um, have the smaller one there, and then there's a third yellow daisy, um, which I'm finding on the page now. And that will end up uh, going to the top right-hand corner of the husband of my photo. Yep, I'm tucking it in right there. Um, so just kind of spreading your eye around. Um, the photos here and around the page. I'm checking to see if there's anything else I want to add to my page from this thicker sheet. Um, anything else I want to add. Um, but a lot of these words I feel like weren't really relevant that were on here. Um, so I didn't end up adding them. Uh, but I'm still just really going through this, making sure I'm not missing anything that would be perfect for this page. So I do end up adding in this thing that says wonderful things because um, it's a blue color that is also in the circle and that's going to help me build out that top cluster um, on my page. And again, I'm just filtering through all of this ephemera. Um, I feel like it usually takes a while when you're first playing with the collection to decide on embellishments just because there's so many choices, uh, which is a good problem to have. But um, yeah, this process does take me quite a bit of time, uh, but it's my favorite part of the process. I really love picking out embellishments and um, finding the best thing to go on the page and that will help me tell my story. So we are um, gluing down the wonderful things um, subtitle there and then I have decided to add in some of these circle bits from the thicker sheet as kind of my um, little final embellishments 
to help enhance that cluster. So I find the green one, the blue one, and the yellow one, which are the colors I want to stick to. I'm just kind of placing them around uh, that subtitle in the top cluster there. All right, again, I'm just checking to see if there's anything else that I want to add to this page before I finish. And I think here is where I decide that I'm done. Um, so still shots to follow. Thanks for watching. Bye.